ongoing conversation between the health department and city residents. CBS 2's Alicia Reed reports on recommendations from what's known as the Rat Academy. Rats will gnaw through just about anything softer than steel, including cement and wood, according to the city health department. They also breed quickly and only need an ounce of food and water each day to survive. As we saw two big rats scurry across the, the road here. If you see a lot of rats, their food source is nearby. With 8 million residents in New York City, DOH says the average household produces about 8 pounds of food waste each week, enough to feed 19 rats in that span of time. And when we put our trash away, we put it in the bins. Allison Levy has the right idea. Closed garbage cans with secure lids will deter rodents. This week, the Department of Health held a so-called Rat Academy to educate people on how to reduce rats. This map shows some of the city's hot spots in pink. Vermin leave urine and droppings everywhere they go. In order to destroy the path that other rodents will follow, clean regularly and use bleach solution. Also, sealing holes and cracks in walls. I've seen people just drop things everywhere, but then I try to just pick it up. The city is currently removing abandoned dining structures, which are ideal habitats for rats. We should definitely not have permanent dining sheds. To help in the battle against rats, the sanitation department is considering changing the time you can put out trash from 4 to 8 p.m. Residents using bins with sealed lids could put out as early as 6. I think that's a great idea. We need to minimize the amount of trash that's on the street available to rats. Rats can fit through any hole the size of a...